All right, hi and welcome to a tutorial on uh, how to make a fully fleshed API. It's more of a coding along actually for an exercise that is uh, uh, on Canvas. My name is Mike de Rijk and I'm a teacher at Erasmus Hogeschool Brussels. Now, as you can see on the right side, we have the exercise. So exercise two, we will make a demo web server based on board game data, as you can see here. We have three board games and um, we need to get some routes in there. So we need to have a get routes to retrieve all the board games. We need to have a format that um, all that uh, ret uh, returns uh, a route, sorry, that ret returns one board game. And we need to have the uh, say we, we need to have the post route, of course, to save a board game. So three uh, important uh, routes that can uh, that make up the, the the bulk of any decent API. So you know what? Let's get started. All right. To get started, of course, I have some demo data. I have an info HTML that just describes all the routes that I need. We have a route. We have board games. We have board game ID, and we have uh, save board game. There are some best practices that I'm not following here, but this is to make sure that we have three very different routes uh, and to test our Postman setup later. Um, we I, I have some basic CSS, that's it. And I have, of course, the data folder with the board games. Now, to get started, we need to make our setup. Of course, this is an NPM project. So, NPM init-y. Um, then we need to install, we need to install express and later we will need body parser for the posting that is. Now we have, uh, the, the, the package is ready. We have, we don't have a script yet, so we will make a script index.js index.js will be using express so const express equals require express our app will be created with this see if I can type it by heart because normally I, I just use the, the demo code uh, we're gonna have our port we're gonna set it to a different number this time to show you that it's possible const good um, then I will create my server listen uh, the listen will use the port as the first variable and the second variable will be a callback function. Callback function. Um, and then a console log. Server is running. Uh, API is running at port. Port. I will add one get um, route just to set the, the route of course every route get post put delete whatever you want has two parameters at least so the uh, the URL itself and then of course a function a callback function with a request and a response and okay and let's let's just rest dot send Everything is okay because we want everything to be okay. So this is a very uh, very basic and a sample application, of course. Let's see if this works. So nodemon index run API is running at port one three three seven. That's good. So um, you know what is running at let uh, HTTP. localhost because then it's easier to to click and voila everything is okay perfect now of course i want I, I will be using postman to test everything so 
if I call Postman, I will, if I use Postman for all this, I will create for this project a new collection. So every call that I make is located in that collection. So for instance, we have our, let me check, uh, new collection. That collection will have a name, board game, API. And I will create a new request, a get request to HTTP, not 3000, 1337. Save request is the root. If I press send, everything is okay and we're off to the races. All right, so we have our postman. Then of course we can uh, make sure that our info HTML is shown uh, in, instead of this simple send. So I will create a public folder that will host all my HTML and CSS that is publicly available. And then I will re make sure that all static files are uh, used in that way. So we're gonna make middleware, uh, express dot, I think it's static. So all static files, what does it say? Static built-in middleware function. It's serves static files and it's based on serve static. Okay, good enough by me. We will have called public. And this way, everything in here will be served as public. So if I surf to slash, I think it's called info.html, I automatically get the HTML. But what I really want is that this is automatically sent back to the documentation. So I'm going to make sure the status goes 300 because it's a redirection. And I am going to redirect to info.html, save. So if I just adjust my code now, send, and we have our uh, example. So public files have been accessed. Now I think it's time to get uh, to give the board games back. All right, to continue, we will make a new route, so board games, and it, that, that, that will return the JSON file here. So of course, to read files, we need the uh, file server module. So const fs equals require. Um, let's go with the promises API, fs slash promises. And then we will he will do the root route. Then the next one will be app dot get board games slash oops board games. Of course, a new function. and we're good to go. So now this route exists. Of course, we need to get the file. Return all board games from the file. So what I will do here is of course, do make sure that this function is asynchronous because we're gonna be using await. Um, so what we will do is read the file, send back the file. That's it. So try, try catch around it just in case it fails. Let data equals await fs dot read file, I think it was, and then say data slash board games dot json. So we will wait until this is read. Missing catch. Voila. If this succeeds, then it's okay and we can send it back. So read the file, send back the file. That's what we will do here. Again, don't forget comments across all your code 
very important. If we have uh, an error, let's 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 do that first. Um, then we will send back rest.send status. The file could not be read, so that means the status is 500 because it's a, an error on our side. Send file could not be read. Try again later. Well, so that means uh, that if we call this route and the file doesn't exist or crashes, then we get an error itself. Now, if we send back the file, res dot uh, status 200, everything is okay. Dot send data. And of course, that's, I think it, I'm gonna be stringifying that. Uh, well, well, let's see what happens. All right, let's test what we just wrote and then fix whatever comes across. So as you can see, there's not a lot of code. Let's see what, what we have. All right, so we have our postman. I will create a new request. The request will be a get request and it will be to slash board games, board games. Let's see what, 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 what do we get? Um, perfect. Mm. But it is a bit, it isn't text. Let me see if it is JSON. Yep. It's JSON compatible. And we get all the data back. Now imagine if the file was broken, let's just delete the N and let's make the call again file could not be read try again later so you see if this throws an error or if something goes wrong then this re uh, response will be sent to the user you see that the internal server error is correctly given 500 if you've noticed that the theory you know that what what type of code this is and for a correct one we have 200 as you can see it does send oh it does send back json format so let me check oh it's a string maybe if if we can pass it json.parse if we parse it to an actual object does this get recognized as a json yes it does so important to know of course when we read something from a file it's a regular string if we want to actually have uh, a type of like an, an actual object, you have to parse it. And Express knows that if you send an object back, well, you basically have a JSON file. Perfect. Good. Now that we have our board games section, let's see if we can get a specific board game from the list. So the next part will be to get a specific board game. So based on the ID. Now we have our route as you can see this is the route that we need to create i'm just going to uh, copy paste it in here so that we know the structure of it so as you might see the route itself has a query string attached to it now it's been a while since i've done this but let you know what let's figure it out together so we're going to make a new get request or get route for game and again, rec res arrow function block. And let's see if we can uh, res.send everything. Okay, let's just do it, do that for now. And let's see if we can actually get a parameter from it. If I'm not mistaken, um, everything okay so if we call board game i'm going to get all board games that's this route now i want to have another one uh one board game that's one board game and now of course our route is going to be slash board game of course the route itself works 
done, everything is okay. But what if we pass along something as a parameter? So we can either use in uh, Postman, we can use the key value. Um, so for example, ID is 120677. I think that is Gloomhaven. As you can see, it will automatically update the URL. So it is uh, recommended to use the query params so that you can just add them or delete them here instead of constantly adjusting the URL. So as you can see, let's do send. And of course, nothing changes, but let's try and log the query string in this piece of code. Of course, console logs here will only be shown here in the where the API is running. So this is our server. It will only be shown here. Let's see, console.log. And if I'm not mistaken, in the request that we get, there is something called query. And I think that is it. If not, we'll, we will have to Google, but no worries. Let's try and send it. Hey, look at that. Look at that. We are logging rec query. So that means whatever we get with the query string will be contained in this object. So even more specific, if I want the ID from the query string, I get the ID. Perfect. So now we can go and actually read the file, just like our previous uh, route, and use that ID to find the correct board game and only give that back. Let's do that next. Okay, so we already have some material, so we can copy paste most of it. So let's see. Let's do this. Copy paste, we'll remove this. We don't need that. Uh, file could not be read. Uh, that's one error. Another error that we can send back is the file. The board game is not found. That's also a possible possibility. So let's see if we can have read file. I'm gonna read the file and instead of sending it back, now I'm going to do some for loops, of course. for loops uh, I'm gonna do the JSON parse data um, let's let's do BG the actual board game and uh, I'm going to immediately parse the data the moment it comes out of the file this should do the trick so now I have data let me check this is an object, so we have to do that nasty for in again. Um, yeah, of course, this is not an easy file to work with. If this was an array, we could just use a find parameter or something like that. Uh, now, find is quite easy. I think in uh, a previous example, I already used that. Now, let's 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 use the the, the for in. So, for example. Dun -dun -dun. We're gonna loop over data, or as we know now, it is board games. Board games for let's uh, temp in board games. There's probably an option to search for it an object, but I'm not going to. Oh wait, wait, no. There's an easy way to do this. <laughs> we don't even need to loop, if I'm not mistaken. So we have the ID. So if this is 120677, then we basically can do board games rec body ID. And this will automatically complete, uh, like find the board game that we need. If this is undefined, then we will let me check. Then we will need to send an error back. Try and find the board game with provided ID. Small detour because we forgot a sync in our function. So let's see what we get back at this point. No, is uh, well, we have issues here. File could not be read. So there's an error here. Let me just log the error, of course. As you can see, this is a coding along in the purest sense, as in, of course, I made mistakes as well. 
cannot read property ID of undefined. Undefined. I just realized I made a mistake because this is rec body and not rec query. So a simple typo could make all the difference, so it seems. Let's make this query. Let's see what it does now. Finally. Okay, so now we got back Terra Mystica, so that perfectly works. We need to still prove some validation. Uh, let's build that in now and then see what we can do uh, to finalize this piece of code. All right, after that stupid mistake of just somehow having the wrong uh, ID in, in here, let's now finalize by sending back an, uh, an error of the ID not existing or uh, a correction just like this so send back the file so basically if BG is not undefined because if I'm not mistaken if I do this we don't get anything back I think the the console log will tell us that BG the board game that we are trying to get is undefined let's verify that undefined so that means we can do a very simple if statement if bg if it exists that means we can send back the file it will be clear if you do want to do something afterwards uh just the return statement closes the call as well and then uh this function is done second part else if it does not exist we send back an error Board game could not be found. And in this uh, with ID, or we can even place the ID behind it to verify like, oh, yeah, I gave the wrong ID. So in here, of course, this is a 400 error. This uh, The error is on the user because the ID is wrong. While here, the error is 500 because the file could not be read. That's our problem. That's the problem of the server. So let's try again. We have board game could not be found. If I add a seven, we get back a fancy JSON object of, of course, Terra Mystica, an amazing game that is located in our file. Now we have our second route done. The third one that we need to do is actually saving a board game to that file. Let's start with that. All right, so the next post request or the next request basically is a post request and we're gonna be doing a save board game. And now Postman will play a bigger role into testing this because of course now we cannot surf to the URL anymore in our browser. We need to do a post request from here. So let's create the call first. Let's duplicate this and call it save board game. You just get one board game, get all board games, save board game. Of course, this is not a get request. This is a post request. So of course, we don't have the simple IDs. We don't have these. I'm going to delete this. Uh, it is the same. You, uh, no, it's not the same URL. It's safe board game. Now, something interesting to know is that we can have the same URL twice, but one for a get and one for a post. If I do a post request now to slash board game, it will say that it doesn't exist. Uh, the URL is the same, as you can see here. So if we do a, a call, it will search for it, it will not find it, and it says, could not send request. I'm just thinking that my <laughs> server is also not running anymore. So this is the error we get, cannot post board game. If we create this a get, then it will say, could not be found with ID because I, of course, did not provide an ID. So if we tell it to be a post game, then we need an extra route here. Save a board game. App.post. Then we have slash 
save board game. Again, best practices would tell me that I would have board game, that I would have one name for everything, but for our case, that's not necessary for now. Again, callback function with the request, the response. Et voila. Save board game. And now we're there. So just like we had, uh, let's do rest.send. Okay, to cleanly close off our piece of code. And instead of request.query, now of course we have the body because we will be adding data to the body of it. Uh, so we saw it in the theory, as in it will only just uh, be, you, you, you can only pass along big pieces of data in the body of a request. So if we were to log this, let's see what we get. We make our request. Of course, there is no body at the moment. We cannot post to board game. We called our route safe board game. And we get OK, but we don't log anything in the body. Now, of course, this is because in Postman, you have to fill the body. I'm going to save this as well. Um, so here, the body, you have the type that you can pass along. So I mostly prefer it raw. <laughs> That's one quote you can uh, place out of context. Uh, but of course, not text. We like to have JSON. So a very simple data set would be name. Whoops name well, let's do first name first name mike and now technically we should see this let's see and we still get undefined now this is very weird because we are passing along i am for sure that it comes to my api but somehow this is not filled up now there's something uh, to be done. The body is unrelated, uh, sorry, is unstructured. So we need to structure it with another tool called the body parser. We've already imported it with npm install body parser. Now let's use it as a piece of middleware that will make sure that all our bodies are transformed into perfectly fitted JSON objects. Okay, so we have installed body parser with npm install. Now we can include it into our script. So const body parser require body dash parser. Now we have the body parser and we can make it make use of it as a middleware. So that means every uh, request that passes a lot, passes through our API we can actually um, convert. So what we will do, we'll be doing app use body parser dot JSON. That means it converts everything to JSON. Now let's throw that board game again. And look here, we have data that we, that we can actually use. So now we have a body it's basically as simple as completing to save the board game with knowledge we already have from Node, saving the board game with FS write file and writing the file to our uh, existing file, of course, the board games.json. Good. I have prepared some data here. So, Tapestry, of course, uh, very amazing game uh, from Stonemeyer Games. Really recommend it. I've placed some data in here that I created uh, so that it matches the data that's already present in boardgames.json. So, as you can see here, I send it and the data is perfectly console logged in here. So now the postman part is done. Let's save that request so it's in there. And then I can actually work on these parts. So we know it's in request.body. It's perfectly formed. So that means we need to get the file, add to it, and then uh, go from there. So I think this has an ID. Doesn't this have an ID? Hmm. This doesn't have an ID, so I need to add an ID because we are saving by ID. 
ID. For now, I will use one, two, three, four, because I don't know the actual ID, board game ID of um, Tapestry itself. But that ID needs to be, uh, of course, the key in this board game.json. Again, I took a very complex <laughs> uh, JSON file to work with, but you know, let's try it anyway. Let's see. We have our post requests, then, of course, let's. We have some existing code already. Pass the board game. Read the file. Of course, this is without uh, any um, control or validation. I will not be inputting this in uh, this session. But of course, you can validate if certain values are present before you enter that one. So that means to create a new one, board games, it's a new property. So that means to the term we are going to create the ID. We are going to pass along the ID. Let's add it. So the ID is from rec dot body dot id I don't know if this will work but we'll see and we will name genre mechanisms body dot name and we will basically I think it's description genre mechanism mechanisms so an s in the back and the last part is description description good so we basically tell the existing object which is this one to have a new id and then of course everything from tapestry we can do an if statement if none of them are available then the format is incorrect we can do that very easily as in we do that in the beginning validation is quite easy let's just add it so if and then if there is no rec.body.id or, and you see where I'm going with this, I'm just checking if all the fields that I need are available. And I can even do more. So if id name genre mechanisms and description are not available we will send it back and immediately stop this piece of code so res dot status it's a 400 because the request is bad dot send bad request missing id name genre mechanisms or description and of course afterwards because we set it back return so the function is done so this very easy validation statement will automatically stop your code if the data that you are sending is not correct so we can continue if it's there then we can save it again Normally, we should have added it. Uh, and then we do um, await. Nothing here is in a try catch. So let's try <laughs> throw it in a try catch. We're almost there. We are almost there. I will steal the error.
here and I will uh, say an error has occurred. Help. <laughs> if something goes wrong, we can put it in there. So read the file, board games. Uh, so we can do more try catch statements, of course, because now we don't know if something crashes, if it's the read file or the write file. Save the file. Sent back success message. We know that the response dot sent status would be 201 because 201 is standard for updated send board game successfully saved with ID and then of course we add the ID so you can verify rec.body.id and save the file await fs.write file so we're going to overwrite the complete file json.stringify and we're going to stringify more games and I think that will do it time to test it quite nervous because I don't know if it will work <laughs> sent an error has occurred help that is great <laughs> uh, let's console log the error let's see what happens cannot set headers after they are reset to client return statement needs to be here 88 Ah, oops. <laughs> okay, there was still a response uh, done. So of course, these are all waiting. But in that case, like, I'm still trying to, to throw an extra response. That's not the point, of course. Let's try again. Send has occurred. The data argument must be of type string at line 76, 76. I thought this was a Oh, no, 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 no. This is Yeah, I made a mistake. I'm going to save it in board data slash board games dot JSON. And of course, the second parameter is the data. That's my mistake. Send board game successfully saved with ID 1234. Now, of course, how do we verify that? Well, we are on the server. We can check. Let's see what it does. Beautify file. So we have 1234 tapestry. We have Terra Mystica. We have Gloomhaven and Food Chain Magnets. Perfect. Now we are done. You can build some validation in here. It's like if the ID already exists, you can send back, hey, this already exists. You cannot save this. You can do some more stuff with it. You can um, uh, customize this to your liking. Now, of course, everything in here is done. I hope this was an... Uh, a good explanation of how to build an API completely from scratch with uh, a get all, a get one and a post request in combination with Postman itself. So I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next video.